Welcome to webcast number 5 for XCMS.NET version 9. What have we done so far? We are building up 10minutes.com website in XCMS.NET. We added the navigation. We were adding to the navigation a page and we were filling the page with content with a headline, an image and a text. Now I would like to insert a dynamic control. For that I click on edit and I add a dynamic control below this text. I would like to have some voting here and I choose for that the voting module. Here I can ask my question and I can prepare answers for the user. So I like it. I don't know. I will never visit this page again. So these are the possibilities the user has to reply on this voting. For that we check in and we have a look on the preview. If it looks according to our style guide and if we like to have it on that place. So this is the way how an editor can easily insert dynamic content. Dynamic content can be built by any solution provider of XCMS.net. You can extend the system with any kind of dynamic elements, with elements connecting to your database, to your internal database, to your intranet or to your ERP system. In the next webcast I will show you how to add more complex and other dynamic content elements like a dynamic list.